start the webinar. Good day to one and all. This is Dr. Subramana of iNoidesis.com. I'm going to present here the Asian session live market analysis explaining the derived forecast for this particular week and also the market reading for today and explain briefly the trading strategy which we should follow in order to sustain in the market. I like to recollect about the last week instant of SNB. Now there was a massive drop of about 2000 pips in the case of USDCH. And mainly people were expecting the Euro CH to come down. And then subsequently, because the pegging at 1.20, SND was not interested. So they were expecting it to come down. Since there is going to be a massive action by the top the ECB, that is what envisaged. So many of the people have started giving the interpretations that SNB or the Swiss National Bank is not interested anymore in pegging euro at 1.20. That is what the interpretation. But if you recollect much before that, Euro CHF was trading around 1.55 level. And whenever it has come to 1.50, they said that there could be a strong intervention. That is, pegging means they will intervene if it drops. So SNB suggested or indicated that they will not intervene. Because of that, there was a massive drop. Since there is going to be no intervention, then they wanted to find out the market driven level market driven level for chf against us dollar as well as against euro in the process what happened that all the crosses of chf there is euro chf gbp chf and other chf like the chf yen etc they tumbled like anything. And in the process, you know that there are so many informations available in, on net that many of the top brokers, they have become broke and they are not able to withstand the calamity. And that is what the interpretations you come across. Now, let us briefly find out why such things happened and during this time of the year? Damn it. And you know, when the brokers say that they were not expecting this sort of move, and obviously, we find that the brokers were caught unaware. So, who were doing it? See, normally, what happens such knee-jerk reactions are created in the bank terminals. And when such knee-jerk reactions were done, invariably you come across no liquidity in the market. All turn to be sellers, no buyers. So in that process, they just place the order, sell market, sell market, sell market. But in order to create the market, there should be some buy orders. And unfortunately, there were no buy orders. In that process, it was trying to hit all the bottom level buys, but there were no bottom level buys. And unfortunately, some of the people placed the buy order around 0 0.77 in the case of USDCH, and that got hit. And later on, people realized that there is a support coming and then subsequently
to five. Then subsequently, today during the Japanese session itself, they gained about 100 pips in the case of USDCHF. And many of that trading platform, they have just closed CHF and other cross trading in the market. So now you find that it has given a phenomenal shock to many of the traders who had taken the positions in the case of CHF and CHF process. And also many of the brokers, those who have been uh, dealing with that of the banks, see those who are actually acting as market makers, they were not affected because the market makers are the one, they trade against their own clients. So they don't send the orders to that of the bank's terminal. But those who have sent the orders to that of the bank terminals, in the bank terminal, such orders could not be executed. When they had the stops, the stops were not filled. And subsequently, the market came down drastically because there was no order to fill the stock. And then what happened? There was a huge difference between the margin call of the trader and then subsequent holding of the position because they are not able to liquidate the positions and because of that they have to make the contingency plan of keeping the liquidity in order to sustain in the market so it has become a calamity but is it the first time that we come across such calamities no there are many occasions during such time they have made such moves in the market and this set of moves happened during that of the yearly trend reversal time. And most of the vacations, such moves have happened during that of the yearly trend reversals. If you watch carefully the market move, you would have noticed that they were nothing but the extended stoppings. They were nothing but the extended stoppings. And you know, last week, the announcement from that of SNB was used as a trigger to drop USDCHF from that of 1.02 to 0 0.77 and then gain to 0 0.8689 and things like that. So below parity. Now, here, many of the people have got the question whether it will come back to that of 1.02 level or it will go down. Now, everybody is focusing on uh, ECB and many of the people are of the opinion that ECB may go in for quantitative easing, may not go in for quantitative easing and things like that. Ultimately, what is more important is how the players are going to drive the market. And you know that USDCHF is less traded currency when compared to that of Euro and GBP. And in order to bring in a massive trend reversal move in the case of the European crosses, they dropped USDCHF. See, it is nothing but SNP said that we will not intervene in the market. Many of the times you come across, even in the case of uh, Japanese government, they said that they will not intervene in the market. And USDN came down to 76 level. From there it has come to about 117 now. They are not intervening. So we know very well that the players bring in the knee-jerk reactions in the market. And such governments also take advantage of such moves. And they build the positions prior to that of the announcement. And the players facilitate them to make some good money out of that. But at the cost of many small traders and the institutions and the hedge funds to lose big money. And this sort of calamities happened in 2008 also in that of the derivative markets. And so this is part of the game. That is how they do it. And the only thing is those who are in the market for only a brief period think that something phenomenal has happened in the market. But you know that we always trade cautiously during that of the yearly trend reversal time in anticipation of such unexpected moves in the market. That is why I always say that 
whenever there is a quick move watch and take the position when the market is calm don't commit any positions and also try to do only swing trades and not position trades during that of the yearly trend reversal time and now we'll go to that of the derived forecast before that i'll just briefly explain to you the current levels in the case of gbv it is holding it around that of 1.51 for a prolonged period whereas in the case of usd yen which has dropped from that of 120 last week to that of 116 and below 116 and now holding around 116 117 level and so you find that usd yen is making the usd weakening move whereas euro is making the usd gaining move a contrarian move and it is holding around that of 1.15 level last week it was holding around 1.18 and 1.17 was considered as a good buy level but they came down to that of 1.1461 and then reversed on friday so hero in anticipation of ecb's announcement they are trying to keep it very weak against us dollar then i'll give the forecast and explain to you afterwards then in the case of chf we have seen that it has come to a strong level but from there it has gained about 100 pips net change and holding around 86 level from 8580 it gained up to 8690 and then holding around 8670 to 80 level and see the spread it is about 8 pips so that is how they are keeping it because very low liquidity is seen in the market then in the case of canadian dollar on friday they took it up to 1.2044 and from there they have dropped and they are trying to hold it at the higher level building sell positions and then make a drastic drop in the case of usd cad during the early trend reversal time australian dollar after seeing all the lows around 0.80 it started gaining the levels similar to that of gbp and not losing much during this particular time frame because already they they, they have done the extended stop and moves in the case of aussie now we'll come to the other forecast the expected market moves for this particular week 19 to 23rd of january so they are expected to make the swing and slide today during the the japanese session in firm up and then slide during the european and us session because it is a yearly trend reversal time we may not come across significant big beginning falls move during this particular time frame and tomorrow they are expected to make a swing and rise swing and rise during japanese and the european session and then slide during that of the us session and then continue the slide on wednesday during that of the japanese session and then make a small form of a rise during european and then slide then they will make the swing and drop move on thursday in the case of euro and gbp in order to give that impression that probably euro could become the toilet paper and that is how they will give the presentation or give that impression to that of the traders and then all the traders holding long positions will shed euro position then afterwards 1330 gmt during that of the european session the ecb press conference is expected to happen but before that they are expected is make a swing and rise move and spike up in a big way after that of the ecb press conference probably 1330 the ecb press conference is expected to start by 1335 itself we will come across the spike even before any announcement that is how the players do it in the market and then continue to make the swing and form up move and so i do not know the outcome of ecb press conference but based on my algorithm i am giving the forecast that there is going to be a big trend reversal move on thursday and that will sustain till august of 2015 till this time you will come across that euro and gbp continue to gain in the market and also 
will find surprisingly that USDCHF will also gain levels. And that will be a contrarian move with Euro is gaining, USDCHF is supposed to drop, but they had done the downward stop and extended stop and using the SNB, uh, the peg issue as a uh, the event, and then they are expected to reverse USDCHF in a big way. And then they will say that euro is becoming strong, so USDCHF has to become weak, and then they will try to gain the level subsequently, and you will find that euro CHF will also phenomenally make the gain above that of the parity. Then, afterwards, swing and rise is expected continuation of the rise on Friday. Then they are expected to make the weekend time the slide or induce the long holders to liquidate and then start gaining the levels during that of the US session. Then they are expected to continue the volatile moves during that of the last week of January, 26th to 30th of January. Then afterwards, you'll come across this new month, namely February. The first week of February, from 2nd to 6th of February, again, they are expected to make the volatile move, but with more visible upward rise in the case of Euro and GBV, and also in the case of USD and USD CHO. And then later on, they are expected to make from second week of February, a trending move on the upside in the case of Euro and GBP. So that is what anticipated and the forecast says that there is going to be a big upward move on Thursday. And if you have got adequate equity, then during the drop, you can just accumulate the buy position, keep the hedge order to limit the risk, keep the hedge order only for 30 pips. If you keep 100 pips hedge order, then when this clip, you don't get it filled. But if you keep it in 30 pips, and definitely you will get the optimal fill. So you need to understand this. And there is no point in uh, taking a blind risk. So you can take position during the drop and keep 30 pips hedge order. In the event of the market makes for the drop, still you will be hedged and you can book profit at the downside. Afterwards, they are expected to make the spike and then you can book profit on the buy side as well. And always keep in mind, the players create the market sentiment and act against that of the traders. And you know, on Friday and last Thursday, how they made such a havoc in the market and they in created the feel for the people that USDCHF is going to make a big drop. That means CHF is going to become a strong currency. And subsequently, they also made the statement that they do not want CHF as a safe haven. So immediately CHF bounced back. And in the process, what happened? Gold has gained phenomenally. So you find the players simply use such wordings because such words, if they are capable of bringing so much of moves in a market, such politicians and the bureaucrats can continue to make statements. They need not work on productivity and they can simply make statements so that the players can make up and down moves in the market, but they cannot do that way. And then in that process, nobody will take positions. So they have to make the market appear as if it is following the fundamentals and the technicals. And now and then they will try to use the rumor or statements to trigger the market. That is how they structured the market. And thereby you come across that the traders tend to believe that the market cannot be operated by anyone. Then also you come across every time they will introduce some new products, allow you come across the Bitcoin and that has not become a success story. So you find invariably the financial institutions try to give some new additions in the market, try to give some new products in the market for the traders to commit because the traders have got always a tendency to earn beyond their capacity and also they look for the lux and also 
they think that if they are capable of making quick money that will become an extra income for them to support so when the traders keep such ideas the financial institutions are here to trap the traders and that is how they try to earn their money so this is something like a parasite which is sitting in the body of a human and cause infection and try to feed the human so same way you come across that the financial institutions and others they try to eat the money of their own clients instead of facilitating the clients so this is what uh, the expected levels in this week so euro could go back to that of 1.1450 and then it is expected to spike up and jib will also expected to go to 1.5050 area and usdn could go to 116 or slightly below in order to use it as a trigger for the entire market to make an upward journey euro and jib to make an upward journey for that they use usdn as a trigger and drop it and then subsequently start gaining usd and also along with it of the rise in the case of euro and gbp so also you would have noticed that when euro and gbp were making a drop they purposely dropped usd and in order to drop big the n crosses then usd cad and usd ch or sorry australian dollar the commodity pairs are also expected to make the reversal moves in the market and they will be usd cad is expected to come down drastically to 1.16 and australian dollar is expected to go to 0.83 level to start with there are questions that are you there but i am talking here and if x trade has not complained anything with regard to the audibility i am not very sure why some people are facing the audibility problem because all the settings are showing that i am audible and anyway, this webinar is being recorded and later on you can find out uh, or hear it from that of the recorded webinar and now we will see the market reading and see what happened to that of euro and gbp when compared to that of the initial lows and the high set okay uh now it formed the low 1.1553 and which is intact and also 1.1575 which is also not breached so euro is in a narrow range consolidation and actually in the case of gbp they just kept the extreme levels on friday uh the highs and the lows but actual today's high and the low are 1.5118 and 1.5152 from the other platform i have noted down and so they are not breached the lower the high and in the case of yen 116.96 was the initial low they just breached it and came down to 116.93 and then started gaining the level they will make an upward stop but and then start making for the downward move and in the case of ch of 8580 was the initial low which is intact and 8670 was the high they just went up to 8690 and reversed it and now holding around that of 8670 so they could make for the downward move a small downward move of 20 30 pips and then start reversing it so don't commit any position in the case of usd ch of unless and otherwise you have got adequate equity because suddenly the platforms might say that they will not be uh they will not continue to support you if you take any usd ch position
so they may forcibly liquidate it so don't enter into it other currencies are available for you to trade then in the case of usd cad then 1.1964 is the low which is closer to that and it has not been breached 1.1981 is a high which is also not breached so a narrow range consolidation is happening and in the case of australian dollar 0.8198 was the low and they just breached by two pips and they are above that currently and the high is intact so invariably you come across everywhere they made a brief downward stop and and then subsequently come to that of the range so only in the case of yen they have made a spread of more than 40 pips so they will try to make the moves in the case of yen and australian dollar again they have made about more than 40 pips spread and then subsequently they are expected to uh, bring in more volatility and slide during the japanese session as i explained it so with regard to the market trading and trading so wait for the initial lows and the highs to be set and then subsequently you find that the high is not been breached the market is near the high during the earlier the late sessions and then try to take sell position and if they are near the low and not breach the low for more than 30 minutes from start of the session take a buy so that you will be able to close the position within the session with some optimal profit and keep in mind that euro also they are expected to make such whips and moves uh, in this week before the ecb so till such time don't commit any position when they make a drastic drop in the case of euro understand that it will not come to zero so they will make such moves and then once it is set and not cut for more than 30 minutes you try to commit a position and keep a hedge order once the position makes profit keep immediately stop at entry that way you can do a high risk trade if you want and if the equity is small then don't try it because it may suddenly give margin call you will not be able to handle it then these are all the market timings follow it carefully during the early and the late sessions they handle the majors during mid sessions they handle the crosses and watch that carefully and try to earn from that of the market so i will come back on 26th next monday and try to take the next asian session live market analysis webinar and we will come to know that almost to the yearly trend reversal will come to an end and then you come across the monthly trend reversals during that of the 26th to 30th of jan and also 2nd to 6th of february till such time you can only do swing trades keep in mind they are expected to make the extended stop and moves during such periods in order to discourage the traders holding an appropriate lowest level sensible buy positions so at the lowest level when it is available at the cheapest level everybody is will be interested in doing bottom fishing but the players discourage them in such a big way and then reverse the market so you have to be smarter than that of the players and whenever they make quick move don't enter into the of euro position just because it has not breached the low or just because it is it appears that a strong support is there etc and they will make one knee jerk reaction before the ecb because after the ecb they want to make the opposite move keep that in mind so this is the focus sheet so if you got any questions you can ask me and i will answer to those questions i think there are some uh, issues pertaining to the audio and some people faced it i am not sure why so anyhow if you got any questions kindly ask i'll be willing to answer to those questions so for no question is being asked okay now can bottom fish usdchf yeah you can do it when 
no you can do bottom fishing during that of midweek that is wednesday no wednesday you can do the bottom fishing when they are making the slide they will try to make because the volume might be low and they will try to consolidate usdch of around low at that time but you need to keep 30 pips stop or 30 pips hedge order that is vital and once it is hedged immediately keep stop at entry in the hedge once it start making profit because they are expected to make some volatile moves in the market you have to be very careful then william uh, do you mean usd related see uh, it's not usd related especially you know uh, when the prime data are being envisaged then the players will try to make moves only in those currencies now what happened snb trigger was used in order to drop usd chf now euro event is envisaged so uh, that is on 22nd so they are expected to make after the ecb announcement the spike so keep that in mind and during the drop you try to buy so the speciality of this particular forecast is that you will be able to get the timings so around this uh, 5 to 7:30 the late europe late japanese session on thursday if you try to buy and keep stop at entry once the position makes profit you will be able to make a substantial profit during the upward spike and further rise okay then Eri, thank you for your last week forecast when can we expect cad to go down usd cad is expected to go down in this week onwards is forecast for yeah euro is expected to make an upward spike from that of thursday till such time they will be making the swing around that of 117 to 114 50 level uh, william the weekly forecast i just displayed it here this is pertaining to that of euro and gbp and also, the levels indicate whether there will be an upward move or a downward move. So, the levels indicate that Euro is expected to make an upward move after a downward move. And GPB is also expected to make a spike. And you know that they will use GPB to create the market sentiment and act against that of the traders. So, when Euro is making a nominal drop, they will quickly drop GBP and people will think that since GBP has dropped, Euro is going to drop after that of the ECB, but they will quickly reverse Euro and take it up and followed by that GBP will also gain. So always keep in mind to deceive the traders, they will make some false moves and such moves will happen only in the case of GBP. So keep that in mind, such quick moves, you can take buy position in the case of gbp as well and yen also they will try to make the contrarian move all along so when euro and gp were dropping they dropped usd yen and then subsequently they are expected to gain level they will make one more drop in the case of usd yen in order to trigger euro and gp to go up and whenever the us data is there and then subsequently they will gain the levels in the case of usd and also as a contrarian move at the time you can pick up position in the case of yen crosses then you will find phenomenal rise in the case of yen crosses then chf is also expected to go up quickly it will come to 92 level and from there it will go above that of parity again and people might think that i could have held all my long positions that is what they will try to do it, but they will take about three months to go above that of parity. Till such time, you have to wait because they know a lot of people would have taken the positions in the case of the uh, derivative market and then the player and also in forward cover and such positions, the players will induce them to close it with a huge loss and later on reverse the market. Then USD CAD is they are holding, making the higher level consolidation with the upward stop and in order to make a big drop. 
and australian dollar they are doing the low level consolidation with the brief downward stop and in order to make one sided rise from that of next week then any of the question okay please comment on australian dollar australian dollar is expected to make swing and rise move and it will not drop big this time then lamb will australian dollar be stronger than cbb this week yes relatively it will gain first and you know the commodity pairs lead the rally and lag behind so australian dollar is expected to gain more then Euro and GBP will be reversed after Thursday. Yes, Thursday after that of the Japanese session, they are expected to make the reversal. That is there a possibility of huge downside moves in the case of Euro, USD similar to USD CH? No, you you know in the market they always make an anti climax, and the climax will be just opposite to that. and so the anti climax is that they just made a big drop in the case of usd ch using the the statement from that of snb and in the case of ecb uh decision they will make an upward spike without making much of a downward move in the case of ch euro so many people might think that it is dangerous to take euro by position and people are envisaging that it can go to 1.10 and below some say that it can go even below parity and the players are here to rovers in a big way and understand that how they have been exaggerating the greece crisis a couple of years ago so the players are here to create the fear to the other traders you should not become afraid is okay but only a short duration yeah they will not make any big downward move in the case of euro as far as the forecast is concerned how about a trade setup for buy euro usd and a buy of usd ch right before ecb as yes, you can do that you can buy both and keep hedge order to limit the risk definitely you can do that so no more questions so i'll take this opportunity to thank fx street for the facilities provided and i'll come back on 26th of january then we will take up the forecast for the next week and this webinar is being recorded and you will be able to get it in fx street under the archives of the webinar and refer to it uh, carefully and try to take positions accordingly so wish you all happy trading and get rid of the market fear slowly so that you will be able to really make the good fortune from the other market don't over trade that is the only thing which causes the traders to lose the account take very limited position book profit later on we can look for another trade the market continues to give trading opportunities wish you all the best see you next monday thank you